Rupert Murdoch is in, is in a real life secession. Once again, um, HBO Max, I think it was three, five seasons, three seasons. Phenomenal show. Um, it tells the story of a man, self-made, basically billionaire. Um, his three kids all vying for his position and, and, and affection. Um, to the final season, um, he dies. He has, he has a young girlfriend. He dies. He didn't leave. And uh, he didn't pick one kid a, as the, to run everything, but then they found a uh, an obituary kind of with some scribble with one kid's name underlined. They thought that was that meant he, he was the one. And, and then towards the end, this other company came in because they were trying to do a merger, and they, they needed votes on the board. Shit went left for the kids. One kid tried to hold that crazy, and then the daughter, um, which would have been her father's son-in-law, he was vying for position because he thought he was going to be the next to be groomed crazy phenomenal show secession um phenomenal phenomenal show if you know if it's on hbo max if it's an hbo series show you got, you're gonna get a1 a1 content a1 content rupert murdoch this shit is crazy y'all we're talking irrevocable, irrevocable trust um this is this is crazy. This is the shit, you know, these people tell you, hey, put this shit in the trust for your kids. And it, let me say this. The difference between Caucasians and blacks. Or the difference between Caucasian businesses and black businesses. Caucasians will leave something for the kids to fight over. You understand? Caucasians will leave a multi-million dollar business, a, a conglomerate, right? They will leave something for their kids to fight over. Black businesses, you leave your kids nothing to fight over. Nothing. Nothing. Let's go. A media mogul taking his kids to court. The future of an empire uncertain. No, this is an HBO succession, but the real life succession battle between Rupert Murdoch and three of his kids, who he's taking to court this week. 93 year old Rupert Murdoch, owner of big media companies like The Sun, The Times and Fox News, has six kids. Four of them, Lachlan, James, Elizabeth and Prudence, are currently set to control the empire together. Okay, I've heard of Lachlan, I've heard of Elizabeth, not too sure on, on Prudence and, and James. Once again, black biz, white businesses lead their kids something to fight over. Black businesses, you do not. Okay. If it's one thing the white families will do, they will fight over what daddy, what over what daddy has built. After he dies. But Rupert now reportedly wants to change all of this and give all wait, the wait, power. Wait, wait, wait. You see the, dispar the, the, the disparaging ages between the older kids. So. His oldest kid is Prudence, is 66. His youngest is 21, that's Chloe. Grace is 22. Don't tell me I can't have a kid at 50, okay? Don't sit here and tell me Sly is selfish for you to have a kid at 50. Fuck you. Tell me what to do. I want a kid at 50. I've been saying this for the last, what, two, three years? I want a kid at 50. I'm gonna have me a kid at 50. Now who it comes from, me and the wife gonna have to sit down and talk about that shit. But I'm having me a kid at 50. Okay. I'm having me a kid at 50 because I'm at that age where I've, I've, I've learned what to do and what not to do with children. I've learned new skills and how to relate to children, talk to children. Right. So all the things I kind of, I, I may have come fallen short on with meaning me. I can kind of make up for this one kind of sort of, but don't tell me I can't have a kid at 50. This man is 93 years old. His youngest child is 21. Rupert Murdoch's youngest child is 21. I'm going to have me a kid at 50. Damn what y'all talking about. Let's go. But Rupert now reportedly wants to change all of this and gave all the power to Lachlan. Lachlan is currently the chairman of the family's Fox Corporation, which runs Fox News and News Corp, which is the newspaper side of things. He's reportedly the most politically aligned with his dad. And according to court documents, Rupert Murdoch thinks that Lachlan's conservative, right-leaning views are essential to the future success of the media empire. His other kids have been public about how their own personal views have clashed with the family business. James left the News Corp board in 2020 because of disagreements over the editorial content. The court battle starts this week in the Nevada, but unlike a lot of US court cases, it won't be in the public view. Like I said, it's really giving succession. Right, it's in the private. That's right. 
you regular people would not have would not know the business. You're right. You're right. I have an article in front of me about Rupert Murdoch. A lot of these celebrity cases I do, well, somebody's already died, and this is sort of an estate crossover, although Rupert isn't dead. Uh, but this article really goes into a trust dispute, even though the grantor of the trust, Rupert, is still living. This article comes from the New York Times, and there are actually a couple of articles about it. And what's really interesting about the New York Times is they somehow got hold of sealed court documents. Right. By default, court records are public record. You know, I can go online to some database and pull just about every court record unless they're sealed. And we see sealed records oftentimes dealing like with minor children. Um, that's a really common sealed record case. So it's actually fairly unusual to see a sealed record case dealing with a trust. But at any rate, here we have a sealed record case dealing with Rupert Murdoch. Now, first of all, uh, we have some pretty high level issues going on here, even though Rupert's 93 year, uh, 93 years old, he's still in the thick of it. He's still, uh, you know, in the trenches getting after it. And here he is 93 years old and he's involved in a dispute with his own family here in court. Rupert has this irrevocable trust, right? And an irrevocable trust means that it can't be changed. You know, so the other main type of trust is a revocable trust. But in order to still be considered an irrevocable trust, which normally you can't change, that's what an irrevocable trust is, he gave himself this little sliver of, uh, you know, the power to amend, but he had to go through court, hence this case. And what the judge is trying to determine in this particular case is whether or not Rupert has the power to make this small change mm. in good faith. Okay. So he's asking, Rupert is petitioning the judge to make a ruling that his requested change is done in good faith and not in bad faith. Okay. Because if it's done in bad faith, the trust document says it's not allowed. If it's done in So basically you can't be mad at your children and say, well, he pissed me off because of his political views, uh, their political views, and I'm changing my trust. That's not good enough. That's bad faith. I see what the issue is now. That's that's very, very sketchy. Oh, that's a very, very, very very slippery slope in good faith for the benefit of his family then it would be allowed and so these high-powered lawyers are arguing in court yeah the change that rupert wants to make is good faith no 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 that's crazy this is totally bad faith and really what he's trying to do in this case is say that among those four children when he passes when rupert passes away just one of the children should be the trustee and of course the trustee is the person who has the power they have nice. the ability to manage whatever assets are in the trust and now, if you're not familiar with Rupert Murdoch, you know, his family owns a lot of uh, media enterprises like Fox News and a bunch of newspapers and things like that. So Rupert, his high powered attorneys argue in court, you know, look, uh, the, the, the family media has often been conservative. You know, it's not been the more liberal mainstream media. This has been the more conservative media. And if the trust is left like it is, you know, this media empire after I die isn't going to be conservative yeah. enough. Yeah. So there's just one of the children, he argues. Okay, let me just say this. Um, we, we regular folk are not all, are, are not the only victims of social media programming. It even affected R Rupert Murdoch's kids to the point where they let their political views, uh, clash with their father. Right. I would never, if my daddy was Rupert I, and I had different views of my father, I'm not gonna be like, dad, listen, I feel this, this is the right, like, wh whatever you say, dad. Cause I'm just trying to wait you out. Like whatever you say that, how you want me to, how you want to go with this? We're going to, we're going to go to the right. We're going to say the right all the, all along. I'm like, okay, I don't agree with this, but I get it. I play my position. I got to wait till the old man passes. So then when I get my portion of it, I can do what the fuck I want to do with my part of the media conglomerate. If I want to go back, go to the left, but I, which, which I secretly desire to do, I will do so. Even Rupert Murdoch's children have fallen prey to social media programming to us. These, his kids should be above right and left, right? Like you would think his kids would be like, oh, this is how the game goes. You play both sides against the middle. You play on their, their emotional um, hot, hot string issues, right? You downplay this. Why would, why would I care about what, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see how my daddy is one of the instruments of, of destruction. Why should I care about who's left, who leans left, who leans right? This is insane. But even his own children have fallen prey to the social media programming, to these, these ideologies, uh, to, to the agenda. Okay. So this kind of makes me feel kind of good, but bad at the same time. So no one's completely, totally immune from the, from the agenda. If that, what I'm saying makes sense. 
uh, if they were appointed as trustee, that one child would be more conservative. And in his estimation, that would be more successful. So he says, yeah, this change to make it just this one kiddo as the trustee is a good faith change because that one kiddo tends to be more conservative and with history as a guide, that's paid off really well for this media empire. Being more conservative will put more money in the pockets, i.e. good faith. Now, of course, the other three children say, wait a minute, you're, you're, you're limiting our power? Uh, you know, how could that be in our good faith? And, you know, maybe being more balanced would not be bad for us. So, you know, they- No, you do what your, your father says until the daddy passes. Then when he croaks, then it's all, then, then it's fair game. This is insane. I would have never thought this would have happened to Rupert Murdoch and his own children would, fall, would have fallen victim to this. This is insane. They should be beyond politics at this point. They steer the politics. They course correct or they highlight or they downplay. Like, you, you, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're the ones that move the needle. They're the ones that convince most of Americans how to feel and what to think and, and who to possibly vote for. Like, what are we talking? This is insane. Insane insane they argue that maybe it's not good faith to make this change insane now this is a case that is actually ongoing right now and uh you know given the fact that rupert is 93 years old this dispute may actually last until after he passes away because you know billion dollar uh, estate disputes typically don't get resolved overnight and the fact that all these high power attorneys are involved uh you know they're not inexpensive they have their own vested interest in continuing the case for a long time you know, this one may drag out and this may be uh, a knockdown drag out for some period of time. Let me just shift the gears just for a second and put on my hat as an estate attorney. Now, typically when we have these situations where we're going to have multiple beneficiaries, it's not going to be my recommendation to have multiple of them serving as trustee. So in the current version of Rupert's okay. trust doc. So I'm, I'm going to assume Rupert assumed that all of his kids would be aligned with his beliefs. And I would assume Rupert would think at least my kids are smart enough to wait till I die to do something crazy. No, they didn't. <laughs> They're like, no, and we doing it. So it was, it was prudence and the younger brother, the Lachlan is the one that's locking step with his daddy. Like he, he, he is his, his son's father, right? Um, he's, I mean, he's his father's son. This is crazy. Wait, let me go back to this one again. A media mogul taking Lachlan, James, Elizabeth, and Prudence. Okay, That's okay, six okay. kids. Four of them. Lachlan, James. Yeah, so Lachlan, Lachlan clearly is the favorite because Prudence is the oldest, right? The fact that Rupert is given, wants to give all the power to Lachlan. He's, he's his eldest son. He's the firstborn son. So that means a lot too. But your two oldest daughters f f fell victim to, the prop to their own propaganda. Like, how ironic is that? The very propaganda that Rupert has spread and used to manipulate and motivate, uh, finagle, finesse generations of, of people, and it, it infected his two eldest daughters. This is a crazy irony. Crazy irony. James, Elizabeth, and Prudence are currently set to control the empire together after he dies. But Rupert now reportedly wants to change all of this and gave all the power to Lachlan. Lachlan is currently the chairman of the family's Fox Corporation, which That's runs Fox News crazy. and News Corp, which is the newspaper side of things. Okay, he dies. So but Rupert now reportedly wants. Oh, wait, let me see this one. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. So it, the, the the propaganda virus infected his own family. Of course, it would be the women. Why am I not surprised? I I, I hate to say that, but. Yeah, I'm not, are we surprised that, you know, wow, wow, okay, that, that's insane, that's insane, and the fact that this may drag out until after he's dead, that's even more insane, this is real life secession, um, like, like, like I said, if you haven't seen that show, it's on HBO Max, watch it, it's a phenomenal show, phenomenal, especially when he died, um, even, even the, 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 the actor was like, well, I didn't, I was mad. They killed me off. They killed him off like second episode, second or third episode into the final season. He died on the airplane and then they have this, all these moments, like he's kind of in, in a coma and then they're like, you know, they're talking to him on the phone o over the plane. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. And, and then all the just put jockeying for position and the backbiting and all the backdoor deals and. And then at one point, all three of the kids were like, okay, we're all going to vote this way against the board to, to go against the merger of their dad's company. And then one kid kind of said, nah, I'm going to go with 
He had a backdoor deal with the motherfuckers trying to acquire this shit. I, I believe Bill Skarsgård was a guest uh, that final season because he was a competing, he was a competitor, but then they decided to merge with their the daddy's business. So once one kid had a backdoor deal with, uh, the daughter had a backdoor deal with Bill Skarsgård's character. The oldest son and the youngest son at one point were kind of on the same page towards the end, but then they fell out. Oh, and it was just great. And then, and then the, the board meeting vote, how they did the vote at the end. Crazy, crazy show. Crazy, phenomenal show. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. 